So I've got a bit of a topic to talk about today, and it is, um, are 50 cc's worth it? So in the UK, uh, when you're 16, all you can ride is a 50 cc moped, uh, which is meant to be limited to 31 miles per hour, um, around that. So obviously it isn't the fastest way to get around, but it definitely is cheap in comparison to, um, say maybe a car when you're old, like 17 but for me I would say it's really been worth it as I've almost been riding a year now and I've just had so much experience on the road um, especially if you're going to be doing sort of driving at 17 or even a 125 by having the years experience on a bike even though it may be slow um, it's still road awareness and all of that sort of stuff uh, aside from sort of alertness and sort of preparation for doing a full test when you're at the right age to. So before having this moped, the only uh, way I got around was cycling. I used to do it quite a lot and um, it was the only way of getting anywhere really. As where I live, walking is a bit too far and I'm not really a fan of public transport. Some people might say um, like 50cc is there too slow just wait until you're 17 to get a uh, 125 or just start driving but I think the skills I've learned riding this are definitely gonna sort of pay off when I move on to the next step and now I'll talk about the cost of it. Um, this bike was about 600 and a bit. Um, so it's quite cheap for what it is. Um, I did need to do a bit of work on it. Probably came to about £100. Um, so, you know, you can get cheaper ones. It just depends on the quality. Um, yeah, so you pay for the bike, uh, say maximum a thousand. Uh, a few of my friends have got brand new ones for 800, 6 800. I don't know, I'm between that. Um, so it shows you can get cheap mopeds, that's what they're for, cheap transport. Um, insurance on this was probably about 400, um, depends on the type of cover you want. Obviously if you go fully comp it will be, blimey, a lot more. I think it actually worked out more expensive than what I paid for the bike. Another thing to think about is the gear. All of my gear I got for really cheap, uh, my jacket was five pounds, trousers five pounds as well, boots fifty, gloves uh, seventy. But once you have it, um, they're gonna last a while. So there's no sort of worry about buying loads of gear whilst you're riding. And with me that I'm getting the one two five it doesn't really matter because obviously I've got all the gear now so I don't have to go out and buy a whole new set. Um, another cost is petrol. Uh, I think I calculated my bike to do about 65 to 70 miles uh, to the gallon, which is really good, but I do ride it quite slow. Um, if you did get another two stroke RS50, GPR50, and you did ride it a bit faster, you'd probably get 50 miles per gallon. Another thing to consider is uh, if you get a two-stroke, you'll need the two-stroke oil. Oil on this bike I get is the um, Castrol two-stroke performance. Basically, the most expensive in Halfords. Um, I have ordered it offline a few times, as it is a little bit cheaper. Uh, I think it's about thirteen pounds. But to be honest, I haven't got through too many bottles. It's a thing you sort of buy once a month and then just, you know, top up whenever you want. So it's not like it's extremely cheap that anyone could do it. Obviously you're going to have to have a little bit of money saved up initially. But the running costs are fairly low. Now with this bike I do think I'll get a bit of money back at the end when I sell it. Um, and when you're looking for a bike, try and get one that holds its value. My friend's got a Chinese 
four stroke um, basic scooter and the price of it now or what it's worth is much lower than what he paid he obviously got it brand new so that didn't help either but you know if you get a well-known brand Honda sort of Aprilia it should hold its value one thing about motor vlogging is that it's quite hard to do when you're in a uh, traffic that's why I tend to stop talking when uh, I need to concentrate on other things. Now I've had quite a good response with my video um, titled Upload Schedule and 125 Problems. Uh, basically I was just asking and sort of su suggesting um, days I should upload. I didn't really mean it as a definite that I would do, um, but from the feedback I think I will start uploading on certain dates and calling it certain things. Oh god's sake, I haven't got my waterproofs on. Alright, this is getting pretty bad, I need to pull over.